Adorama presents Adorama Pro 101, The Basics. Chapter 3, Microphone versus Microphone. The audio specialist is confronted with many options while attempting to record sound onto the motion picture soundtrack. Your introduction begins here as we establish the different kinds of microphones. First on the list is the omnidirectional mic. The omnidirectional records sound from all directions. Because of its inability to isolate one sound from another, this is the least favored option. Next on tap is the cardioid microphone. It only picks up sound from the direction the mic is pointing to. Cardioids come in many shapes and sizes. The most popular are either the handheld mic, the studio microphones used for voiceover recordings, and that standby of the future, the podcast. Don't get ahead of yourself, pal. The podcast hasn't been invented yet. Years from now, you might have your chance, unless your kids get there first. Let's now move on to the hypercardioid or supercardioid microphone. More specific in targeting sound, they eliminate noise from behind the mic and to the sides. An example would be the shotgun mics you see attached to boom poles on movie sets. Next is the bi-directional microphone. It follows a figure eight pattern, thus it records sound from the front and back, but not to the sides. This is usually used for two-person interviews, as one would sit on the opposite side from the other. Finally, we have the lavalier microphone. While this is omnidirectional in nature, it only picks up sound from a very close proximity to the mic itself. Popular with on-camera interviews, but restrictive as it must be attached somewhere close to the subject's mouth. No, not that close. Much better. Wait, don't get up! Hence, another disadvantage to using a lavalier. That's why a wireless version would be preferable. And thus concludes the latest chapter of Adorama Pro 101 The Basics. Until next time.